these things are thus in the process of being dissolved, what kind of person ought each of you to be in the meanwhile in consecrated and holy behavior and devout and godly qualities? While you wait and earnestly long for, expect and hasten the coming of the day of God. By reason of which the flaming heavens will be dissolved and the material elements of the universe will flare and melt with fire. So the Lord says here very clearly in this translation also. You know, it says, what kind of person ought it to be? Each one of you to be. In the meanwhile, in consecrated and holy behavior and devout and godly qualities. Yes. How important that is. Now this is what Peter says. When you know that these things are going to happen, then your holy conversation, what kind of persons you ought to be in all holy conversation. Yes. Consecrated and holy behavior. The word conversation here also talks about what we do, how we live. Yes, holy behavior. How we live and devout and godly qualities. You know, when you wait for the coming of the day of God, You know, so we see the word of God says, when we are looking for his coming, there is a different lifestyle that we need to come into. <clears throat> yes, the word of God is very clear. Looking for Christ is not just a, you know, a doctrine, but it's something that we have to live. A focus, an undivided heart, a singleness of living, being caught up with something that is eternal. Since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this, this is NLT. What holy and godly lives you should live. Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we will live in this world. We will work. Our children will go to schools and colleges. We will drive our cars as God provides. But we will not be crazy like others. We may have a house, but we will not be caught up with our house. Our children will marry. But it shall not be like what is happening in the world. We will work. We will earn. But it shall not be like the people of the world outside there. Our focus is on the Lord. Our focus is on the Lord. We will put on clothes. But it shall not be like the people in the world. Oh may God help us. We are not going out to some mountain top. We will live in this world. 
but we will not be part of this world we will not be part of its systems our hearts are fixed upon one who has given his life for us oh my young brothers and sisters listen carefully don't be vexed by many issues in your life whether it's your job where's your future you know or your future settling i want to tell you one thing there are many things that would be there to distract our focus take us away from one thing that is needful in our lives but we must be determined we must look for our conversation what kind of what manner of persons you ought to be what kind of people we ought to be oh that's very important since everything around us is going to be destroyed like this what holy and godly lives he should live looking forward to the day of god yes looking forward to the day of god yes i would like to read from another translation a message translation since everything here today might well be gone tomorrow do you see how essential it is to live a holy life it is seen today and gone tomorrow how important it is to live a holy life oh kitna mahatvapurn hai ki ek pavitra jeevan jiya ja ja sake jabki sari cheeze yes jaane hi wali hai daily expect the day of god aur prati din prabhu ki paath jo hai daily expect the day of god aur prati din prabhu ke aagman ki baat jo yes eager for its arrival aur bahut hi talleenta se hum uske aagman ki raah dekhte hain yes oh may god help us parmeshwar my sahaya may god help us i would like to read one more translation J.B. Phillips translation. In view of the fact that all these things are to be dissolved, what sort of people ought you to be? Yes. Surely, men of good and holy character. who live expecting and earnestly longing for the coming of the day of god aur prabhu ke aagman ki jo raah dekhne ki talleenta mein hum ho yes oh may god help us the scripture is very clear there is a different life we are expected to live in these end times hallelujah yes whether you are young or you are old sometimes people think when you grow old you can live such lives easier aur kuch log aisa sochte hain ki hum jab bade ho jayenge budhe ho jayenge to hum is prakar ke jeevan jiye jab buzurg ho jata hai such lives are easier unke liye jeevan but many people think how about my young life how about my young life ki mere apne jo jawan well this word is for all ye vachan har ek ke liye hai if you have been called to be part of his bride you have been saved with a purpose this word is for you wherever whatever age you may be chahe aap kisi bhi umr mein ho par ye aap uski deh ke ang hone ke liye bulaye gaye hain to ye pukar aapke liye hai ki aapko is prakar ka jeevan jeena hai yes 
Please understand this. May God help you. You know that he must have precedence over everything in our life. You know let's be you know single hearted. Let's be focused. Let's be looking for him. You know, so that's what the Lord is desiring of His church in these end times. You know, what manner of people we ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness with a different kind of lifestyle and behavior. Yes. Again, turn with me to the book of Second, uh, the book of Titus, and chapter two. Titus chapter two, and verse twelve and thirteen, teaching us that. Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Mm. Yes. So Titus makes it very clear. I mean, Paul makes it very clear in the book of Titus. You know, this is the way we have to live. And what is he saying? Denying ungodliness. Worldly lust. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope. No, all these scriptures we read we live a kind of life looking for, you know, is connected with the coming of the Lord. Yes. You know, and that's very, very, very precious. Very precious. You know, looking for. So our life today has to be focused on the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today everybody talks about, you know, the Lord coming anytime and going away anytime. But there is no preparation in many lives. But there's no preparation. But all the scriptures tell us when you look for him, there's a life that is different. Yes. Verse 12, I would like to read from NLT. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. Yes. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness, and devotion to God. While we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when glory, when the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ will be revealed. Hallelujah. Yes. How wonderful that is. You know, so we see here, our life is to be lived in the light of His coming. That is what all these scriptures tell us. Yes. Let me read it from J.B. Phillips. 
for the grace of God which can save every man has now become known and it teaches us to have no more to do with godlessness or the desires of this world but to live here and now responsible honorable god fearing lives hallelujah and while we live this life we hope and wait for the glorious denouement of the great god and of our jesus christ of jesus christ our savior so we see here very very clearly our life has to be lived looking for his coming yes we are looking for jesus yes that means we will exhibit a different quality of life yes they will maintain a holy conversation aur wo apne un holy life aur pavitra jeevan a holy behavior aur pavitra vyavharon ko they will be taught by the spirit aur ve pavitra aatma ke dwara use they will be taught by the spirit aur aatma ke dwara they will be taught by the spirit of grace aur parmeshwar ki aatma ke dwara anugrah mein unhe sikhaya jata hai how to deny ungodliness kaise Yes, and worldly lusts, and they will be learning how to live soberly, brothers, my young sisters, my young brothers, all my brothers and sisters, whatever age bracket we may be, the Spirit of God will teach us how to live soberly, righteously. and godly in this present world in this present world this is god's word a preachers are saying that you cannot live no but the spirit of god has recorded in god's word that the grace is given to this end and the spirit will teach you and me yes and and listen very carefully any spirit koi bhi atma that is not producing sober and serious
Oh